So welcome to today's webinar of the two days of gains. We've got myself and Ryan here from the team from MTT. Uh, Marius is unfortunately not here. He's busy and uh, with a lot of meetings in the background for the business. So we're going to proceed and tell a little bit about MTT, who we are, have a look at Bitcoin and the setup that I'm seeing at the moment. Did a lot of work behind the scenes last night just to get some pivots because that's what we do at MTT, pivotal and time analysis. So for everyone that's new here today, uh, Bitcoin TAF is one of the uh, most respected educational platforms with subscriptions in the market since 2016. Uh, Marius and Wendy has built this phenomenal business to give traders and the community of people that want to get involved in crypto such an amazing platform to get everything in one place. You can see there's a whole team of members. We're just expanding. And as Marius always say, we only at the brink of the next phase in crypto. It's going to take off tremendously. Anyone that's here that's business builders will understand that we are, mass adoption hasn't happened yet. And we are at the forefront of taking advantage of all of the development, future development, what we're planning in the background to take advantage of this massive surge of new people coming into crypto. And when new people come into crypto, the millions and millions of new users, they're going to want to know how to trade and guess who's going to be there to educate and help uh, those new um, flair of members to come and trade on the crypto markets so since 2016 they started the business and it evolved right through to 2022 where we've now got many products we've got uh, mtt we've got salsa signals we expanded to so many products with wendy at hot or nots marius's long-term trade reports so there's a product for every sort of niche customer for their trading style and that's really what differentiates us from any other competitive platform out there. So today we're going to talk about MTT, what we do and how we trade. And going to quickly take you through this. We say the MTT crypto report. That's all you need. One product, everything in uh, combined that you need for to skyrocket your crypto portfolio that will really reward you at the end of the day if you just manage risk. That's all that's important. The setups, the analysis, everything we do for you at the end of the day. You just need to manage your risk and take advantage of where we do the analysis and uh, people can then take their own initiative and say, this looks like a good setup for myself and where I'm going to take action because it's all about people taking action in doing a trade as well. So the team at MTT is myself, Marius and Ryan. He does a lot of the background research, marketing assistance, and making sure that we're always in the correct categories of movements in the market. And, and then Marius has got all the algorithm data and I've got all the technical analysis. So as a team, we really bring the best and foremost product offering and then all the latest best charts or opportunities in the market um, and our trades usually play out between a seven to 45 day cycle period and it can be faster it some some trades we've had that it plays out in a few days all also depends on when that cycle in that specific coin starts and sometimes they're a little bit slower in just getting it, the, all the indicators are there, but the general time frame that we look at is a seven to 45 day cycle. And we'll always just change up in the report, which coins are performing, outperforming, or under, underperforming, and bring that latest data to the members. So we're really looking at 
the NFT, gaming, DAOs, metaverse, cross-chain. And these are the best categories that's available at the moment. Obviously, there's layer ones, there's layer twos, some other coins that's going to perform in a sequence better than others. And then there's also a lot of coins that hasn't even been born yet. It's like the tech bubble. When that all happened, there was a lot of industries within the IT space. And still today, generally in the IT space, there's going to be industries that's going to still be born with new entrepreneurs. And exactly the same with the crypto. There's going to be new industries still coming. And that is what we're going to look for in the next cycle. In the next seven years, we're going to look at a little bit of a seven-year cycle now. And there's, there's the opportunities in crypto is just going to become more and more. So what we offer is a crypto report on a weekly basis. We've got a Telegram channel where we update the members of, of coins or targets being hit or new coins that's going to run or events that we've got up. Um, upcoming and then we've got the on the weekend we do a recording a pre-recording so there's three really aspects that you get for being part of this community it's constant communication on the telegram the reports and then uh, a live webinar on a wednesday so anyone that joins up in the from between today and tomorrow will be part of our live update tomorrow on the webinar and then also have a look when we get to next month, just want to go here to the site, go have a look again next month at events. There's one project that I'm very uh, fond about, and we will also bring it to the community again, but it's going to be a, discuss, a discussion with Gala Games. That's a, a project that in the gaming space, I believe can easily do a 10, 20, 30x in the next bull run and we're going to have a chat with them next month in I believe it's in three weeks so we'll just confirm those dates and we'll upload it on here uh, so that's one definitely not to be missed we try to bring those the industry leaders to the community as well so coming into a few charts we saw yesterday we had that massive sell-off in the s p and it was a nice recovery that we've had so far. I reckon the S&P is going to recover as well. Slightly, the 26th, that is such an important pivotal date, even though that it's a seven year cycle end, it's always in September, the end of the Shemitah, the seven years going into the new year. The, that is showing potential for the markets to go up higher. So I believe for the time being where we are, we had good volume coming in on Friday. That was the 16th. And algorithmically, I reckon we are going to head up higher. If we look at this is the Bitcoin uh, cycle. This is my halvening cycle. And I'm, I'm not going to show everything. It's most exclusive for the people that's members. But what I can show you here is we are in this downtrend since we hit those highs in November 2021. And there was the resistances uh, that was hit prior. Uh, that was the 28th of March. But we're still in this downtrend. And these are 200-day, 300-day, 400-day week moving averages. But with this pivot coming up on the 26th of September, I do believe the market is now at a specific low point. We haven't been able to go below this point there, which was 19. Let's just quickly have a look uh, on this one. This is a bit stamp. Remember, a few exchanges can be a slightly different. So it's about 17,500. I believe on Binance, it's about 17,600, but approximately. The date is the 13th of June, the week of 13th of June. So we haven't been able to close anything below that specific level. And you can see on a weekly time frame on the MACD, the selling pressure, even though that it's up, it's down again. The selling pressure is it's, it, it's losing momentum where on a weekly basis, if you avoid the little bit of chops, ups and downs, 
we are gaining strength on a weekly basis, which is very positive. Now we are consolidating slightly, slightly below the 2017 high. So it's really important that we get above that level from, let's just quickly go here to the 2017. The 2017 high was the 19 triple six. So we literally just below it, 19,524. And I do believe we can make a move to the upside at least in, in the next month or two. September into October does look good. And generally, October is one of the most bullish months for Bitcoin, where September is technically since 2017, one of the bearish months in Bitcoin. We are doing okay still, even though that we've had the volatility so far. It's not, let's just get, I believe it's sort of flat. So if that's the week of the seventh or the beginning, we had the massive 20%, now it's down. But I reckon the last part of the month into October is going to be a bullish scenario where I've got, I'll just leave it at a minimum target of 23 to 25. $23,000 is a very crucial line in the sand that we need to come up across. So you see this morning, I just looked a bit about some data and this whole region of this green block at the bottom is support from the week in um, the 18th of June. So this whole area and it also lines up with some pivotal support regions as well about that eighteen thousand dollar level so anyway here when it was weeks to the downside that's in a daily see the market just want to wick people out I believe there was about 500 to 600 million dollars of longs liquidated again it's not going to be easy for the average guy to make money out in the crypto world, if you don't know what the market or a, a brief period of a reflection in the future is going to be. They're going to play with your emotions. They're going to want to wick you out. And just when you believe, now this is not for me anymore, boop, we have a spike to the upside. Yesterday, people were screaming again, we're going to 15,000, 10,000, it's coming. Now we're wicking up to the upside. So the market will not give you what you reckon it is going to, what's going to happen. If it seems too simple, it is too simple. Uh, it, it, you play with people that, that know the game and it's all about emotions in this trading environment. And that's what we help to say, these are good entry levels, these are exit levels, take your profits, especially in volatile downwards markets, take your profits and and at least don't compete with getting it into your brain and um, psych psychologically that it just messes you up because it can it can become tricky if you are in a down market and in this phase all of a sudden you had a nice 20 percent pump you, you're good you all about um happy days you're seeing the future and then all of a sudden you're down 16% um, because you didn't manage your risks. So these time, time pivots and everything, all these dates that we have here is there for a specific reason. And we plot it down on a monthly basis, a little bit more in detail. I've got it. I can plot dates into 2025 already where they will not change. But the fundamental news that's going to come out on the day will say, ah, the, we had the date three months in advance. Now this is the fundamentals that is going to take place, that is going to influence the price. But we can predict those time pivots in the future, which is very powerful. So this is the level that I'm watching that we need to trade above 20,000 and 20,400. That is the key first level. And the next level is back to $22,500 to $23,000. If you at all, if we don't meet up again with one of these calls within the next month, if we cannot close above 23, 
yes, then we the probabilities are more likely that we can go revisit those $16,000 levels. It's not out of the question yet. It's just a timing period. I do reckon it's going to come, but not yet. Just, but, and it's not too far off. Next three, four months, it may be a very close possibility, but the next cycle first is a move to the upside. So before we see the downside risk, so I still still have that as the possibility. So if you gave up, we're going to just have a look at AD, ADA, for example, and maybe one more coin. Say we are at the brink of this period. Now, this was the 2020 March COVID um, crash. We are right here, for example, in September. Now we're going to have a nice run to the upside. There's the end of my cycle, let's call it end of October, going into November mid-elections. And now all of a sudden you have this next drop. So we've been in a, call this the 70% down period. You're despondent, you just want to give up on trading. Trading is difficult. It's the up and downs, ups and downs. It's not an easy environment. Here we are, we're going up in the next phase into October. Boop, now we go down. And now you're despondent, you're out of the market, you're not going to worry about the rest. This is the last phase I believe we are in. What happened next? If you bought the lows, probably everyone was scared buying the lows. You're not going to buy the lows because everyone's full of fear. Those that did on ADA did a, and let's say you're not going to sell the top, right? Because everyone then thinks it's going to go to $10. So you sold around $2.20. You made a 7,000%. Now let's say, okay, you didn't buy the lows. You bought when it got back to the highs of that level, a breakout. That's always the, the better scenario to go and buy a coin. It's back at the prior high. We had a retest. Now we're starting to the upside. This is a cycle where I reckon we are. Now you bought there. You didn't sell the exact high, but you're up. 2,300%, 4,000%. That's just on ADA. There's other coins that did 10, 20,000%. Theta, for example. Let's just have a look at, at Link. Let's just see Link, for example, right here. Uh, that one started its up journey a little bit earlier in 2018, 19 already. But Link is up 10,000%. We're it close to a $50. Now people are scared of Link saying, yeah, but now it's down. It's at $6, $7. Yes, something that goes up 15,000% in two or three years. You will never have that in two or three years in the normal stock markets. It's trading in cycles. You're going to have these ups and down swings, but it is a period of accumulation again. They want you to get out of the market before this next phase is going to happen so that's just what i want to bring to your attention today do not lose hope do not be trapped into the fear manage your risk and be with the right community that's going to be there for you on a weekly basis and we will still be there the next cycle at least for the next seven years um, to be with our members then Chili's, just get into a few trades. Chili's was a trade yesterday. We were out about here. Someone asked, where do I get back in? I uh, said, uh, T1 above support, there would be a perfect target. It came into entry. It's now back at T2. And I believe now with the next phase that we can experience to the upside, that's already a 15% since yesterday. Uh, an easily easy target for 55 percent and the members our members got this trade already in the buy zone so that trade is working out quite well and then yesterday i said listen i've got a trade already lined up but i can't share it yet come back today that trade was yesterday you will see on the 18th or the 19th it was back it broke out tested support perfectly I waited for this whole duration. It was a massive accumulation phase. Now we're changing trend to the upside. We do, we're having all the right ticks. Everything in my system is lining up. We're also breaking above that 200 MA and ALGO is already at the first target also. 
I do reckon any pullbacks for anyone that now missed this trade because it was right on the buy opportunity, but this is also only the start. This is one of the top coins that I've been following in our report. Our members will know we've had this ups and downs in the cycles, but I still hang on to this one because the upside that we can experience in Algo is going to be phenomenal, phenomenal that we've seen in the past as well. It does these bursts of three, four, maybe six, eight weeks of upside where sometimes Bitcoin can even come down and Algo will just continue to pump. So this is a good one. Any retest for me of 32 cents will be a good uh, buy area. The members had this one in this range already to top up on this. It never hit the specific stop loss. You'll see that stop losses was there for a strategic reason to not to be stopped out too quickly uh, because that's what the market tends to like to do. So good DCA level and now you're up already. So I'll go to the second trade for us in this in the two days of gains. And now anyone that wants to become part of our membership and want to take part of a combo deal, we've got a deal here. Let's just go back one, one step. So if you were invited here today by a friend or a affiliate, use their referral link. Go here to products, go to combo specials, filter, and you will see our product. The first one right there is a combo between MTT medium term trades and Morris's long term trades. Between these two, you will have the perfect combination of where you want to trade for a short to medium term basis towards a long term time scale where Morris's peaks can go into the few, next few years. Now, I've got the data to see for the next few years on my pivots, but we, I like to say we trade what we see on a weekly basis and because that's where the profit is going to be, when to exit and when to get back into the market. So this is a three months, six months and a 12 months, and I believe the 12 months is the biggest, best value for saving. Then you sort it. You should be able to make this back in a few trades. Uh, we showed in our, let's just quickly go back to our presentation, the best trade we've had in the last three months was Atom, which literally from June, or was it July, just did 161%. And there's key levels, should we break, that we even can excel and proceed higher in Atom. So that's that's everything from today's webinar. And I thank you all for joining the opportunities are there to be made in cryptos. You're not going to find that anywhere else in the crypto space or in any other industry for, for that matter. Uh, we are going to, it's, it's exciting. You're going to make it. Uh, just tell yourself if you're here today, you are going to make it because you've got an interest in, in learning cryptos and it's the new evolving industry and what's going to come and, and techno, technology wise within the space and the charts that we're going to track, we will do all that groundwork to find the best um, of, of, the, of the coins out there just to actually make profit. So sometimes people don't worry about fundamentals, but because the technicals will lead fundamentals as well. And, and uh, that's, that's just how the game gets played. All right, so keep well. Thanks everyone for joining on this Tuesday morning. Have a lovely week further. Anyone that joins up will see us on the call tomorrow and get the web, uh, the updates at, for the weekend. And I believe we are at a really, really crucial phase in the last cycle, just before the halvening for crypto. And just hang in there. You're going to make it. It's exciting and you will be able to make real generational wealth and leave a legacy behind in this market. Okay, have, have a good one, everyone. Keep well, bye.